Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. When you walk up to women, they receive you quite harshly when you're very nervous. Women are in a way non-forgiving of a guy who's really nervous when he goes up and he's so with it. I mean like he's weird in front of her and he's speaking too fast or he's going up and he's kind of making it seem like he's into her and he's not. Many times they're not forgiving of that. They really are. And I've told guys many times that when you walk up to women, express your nervousness and that'll relax them. That is the truth. But what I want to get to this video, what I want to get to in this video today is how do women actually receive men who are nervous? What goes through their perception? What is their perception of a nervous guy standing in front of them? And how you can learn if you feel nervous, because you're probably watching this video because to some extent you do feel nervous, how you can better be with your nervousness and not allow it to have power over you when you're in front of women. Let me just bring to your attention right now that when you walk up to a woman and you feel very nervous in that moment she won't be going oh this guy's nervous let me just relax him he nervous right now I can see that he's actually trying so you know what I'm gonna give him a chance that's not going through her at all she's just reacting that's what's happening most of the time she's not standing there going through Oh, okay, he's doing like this. Oh, okay, he's doing like this. She's not perceiving you and trying to decipher what's going on for you. She's not doing that. She's simply reacting to what you're giving off. And if you're giving off nervousness and continuously giving that off, she's going to react in basically a few ways. The first way the woman will react is simply feeling tension. When you come up, and you are feeling very nervous when you go in, when you're feeling like this is strange to me, I'm not used to doing this. She may not like me when I do this. When she is getting off of you these nervous tics, any of these things, she will feel tension. And to be honest with you, when people are feeling tension, especially to a stranger, they will do whatever they can to get away. Let's think about this. Let's say that a nervous, nervous, homeless guy came up to you and he was just like, hey man, can I, uh, I mean, I need some food and uh, can you just, you know, help me out and, uh, I, you know, I mean, you don't have to, and he just started doing that. You would start to feel tension most of the times simply because he's going through so much tension while he's in front of you. If you've learned to relax yourself in the face of tension, you won't feel this. But that takes so much evolution as a person to do that, that many times you will feel tension when that guy is in front of you. What do you think the girl feels when you come up? First of all, let me tell you this, because this just come to me. There's nothing wrong with you being nervous. Nothing. I've told you this many times. I don't know if this is your first video, your fourth video, your 100th video with being with me, but I've told you so many times and this is your first time telling you, nervousness is okay. It's just how you deal with it in the moment. That's the difference. That's the difference of how the woman will receive you. But coming back, when you're in front of a woman and you're very, very nervous, how do you think she's receiving you? Do you think she's receiving you like you are receiving that homeless guy? No. The way she's receiving you is almost 10 times as strong as that because she's so tuned into what's going on for you energetically, she will feel as you say something, is this really coming from you or are you just speaking bullshit? Of course, if a girl's older, she'll be able to detect this more so than the younger girl, but just being around women in general, they have felt what it's like to be around a man who's relaxed many of the times and a man who is in total I don't know what I'm doing. This is weird for me. I, maybe she will think it's strange. She knows the difference between both. 
Through her life, she's been exposed to both. Let's say it was a guy that she was exposed to when she was younger and she really liked him and he was very cool and confident, so to speak, quote unquote. Or it was either her dad, him being just a relaxed guy and not having tension, or her just being around friends who are relaxed around her. She knows what it feels like to have a man be in front of her and not be relaxed. She knows what that's like. So when you are there and you are feeling that you're stressed out, you're feeling that, man, this is just too much. You start to do the nervous tics of talking too much. Trying to always affirm her. Apologizing all the time. When you're going through all this when you're in front of a girl, she can feel that there's something wrong. She can feel that. Women are really intuitive to this. They are. They're more energetically intuitive than we are. They're really, really tuned in to where a man is. This is why women can spot players very quickly. They can spot a man who's good with women. They can feel very quickly off a man if he's good with women. That's why she'll say things like, are you a player or you do this all the time, don't you? That's why she says things like this because she can feel the energy that's resonating from the guy. It's a very relaxed energy. When you aren't relaxed around her, she can feel that very strongly. As strongly as she can feel a man who's relaxed. And it makes her react in some way. And the way her body usually reacts to that is tension. It becomes tight. She maybe even in her mind, she goes, what's well, something wrong with this? So she starts to feel like, oh, I want to go. She goes, all right, well, I'm going to go in here. Or maybe she darts into a store. Or she, her friend comes, she quickly tries to get away. She does something to try to alleviate the tension that she's feeling. This is one of the strong ways that women react to a man being nervous in front of her, just to give you insight. She's not going to feel like, oh, this is a relaxed moment. Okay, he's, he's nervous. He'll at some point just relax and it won't be like this. No, she won't be going through that. She'll most of the times, and if you have done this, you will see that most of the time she will try to get away. That is what people do. Not just women, that's what people do. When there's tension caused by a situation, the first thing that people want to do is avoid. And that's what she'll do. She's going to try to look for the easiest exit out of this. And that's by saying, I have a boyfriend. That's by saying, uh, yeah, I got to go. Or I'm in a rush. I don't want to talk. Or it's whatever degree that she says. This is what would happen. So to give you insight into that, that is one strong thing a woman to feel. Tension. Her body becoming tight. Her feeling like there's something wrong with this. I just want to leave. And that's when you see the girl go, uh, or she may even actually bodily do this. Uh, especially in America where girls start doing that or the girl feels, you start to see reactions like this and she goes, okay. And then she leaves. It's due to the tension that she's feeling based on what you're giving her. And of course, even a relaxed man can make a woman feel that. But this is how she will respond to nervousness. This is one way she'll respond. One other feeling that I must shine a big light on, like a really big one. I want to shine it really on this because this is something that I don't think any guy has ever even said and I want to bring to your attention. When you are nervous in front of a girl, another feeling that will come over her is I don't know what to do. This is simply that. I don't know what to do. Women have not been taught how to relax men. They haven't been taught that. Because to be honest with you, many girls feel entitled to the fact that guys should be confident when they come up. They should only be confident and have their shit together when they come up. That's just women's disconnect from men's pain, to be honest with you. But women simply haven't been taught how to relax you. So they don't know what to do in the moment. They become very confused. This is one of the other feelings that she comes with is the confusion. What do I do in this moment? Okay, he's nervous and you know, I'm here with him and what do I do? And that actually goes through women that do because she don't know what to do in that moment. All she can feel is I want to get out. She won't be sitting in the feelings like I'll be teaching you today. She won't be doing that. The nervousness that arises, she like, okay, whatever I need to do, I need to get out of here. Whatever I need to do. And this is in many ways 
sad that as men, we have found so many ways how to relax women. There's so many ways to relax a woman. It really is. And one of the strongest ways to relax a woman is just by letting her know that I know this is a bit strange and you've probably done this. Maybe you said it as a line, but you haven't really done it for real. But one of the strongest ways to relax, relax a woman is empathy towards how she's feeling. Simply that. I mean true empathy. That means when she's going through the moment and you can feel that she's a little bit stressed out or maybe she's weirded out by what you're doing, you go, I didn't mean to uh, frighten you. I didn't mean to make this scary or sorry, I didn't mean to uh, be so forward or anything. You say whatever you can for really to relax her because we are learning as men to relax women. We are. But many women, I've never actually met a woman who can truly relax a man, like truly relax a man. I've never met one. Unless one has been, uh, maybe I've come across a girl who has some insights into it, but wouldn't do it in the moment. They don't know what to do in the moment that it comes up. That's really what it is. Women are not going around like, okay, how can I relax a guy who's nervous when he comes up? Because... I know that guys get nervous. I know that when they see beautiful women, they sometimes don't know what to say. I can see that guys are actually out there struggling with this part of their life. Guys, there's guys who are really shy and they don't know what to do when they see a woman. And they try the best they can and they still come across very nervous. How can I relax guys like that? Women aren't walking around like that. They aren't. They're walking around just simply living life many of the times because society has told them that you are totally fine the way you are you just need to find a guy who's relaxed enough to be able to give him a chance that's what they're told you know all the magazines are saying you know how can you find that guy that's like this and that guy that's like this they're not saying how can you relax a guy who's incredibly nervous but has a lot to offer they're not, they're not saying that. It's just simply not happening. So they don't know what to do. You must be very compassionate. Sorry, I'm really getting really cold because it's fucking cold here in Wisconsin. But you must have compassion to the fact that most women that you walk up to, even you, somebody who's nervous, she won't know what to do when you're in front of her. She simply will just be off. And it's funny because I told a guy to uh, tell a girl in New York City that... He's nervous <laughs> and she's like, oh, don't be nervous. I don't bite. I, that's not empathetic at all. It's just saying something. But if she really wanted to, honestly, she would touch him. She would give him a hug. Like truly, this takes a lot of fucking guts, of course, that women won't do, but to be honest with you. But that's the way, the true way that she'll be able to relax him in that moment. But anyways, apart from that, this is just an understanding. When you're nervous in front of her, she just simply won't know what to do. And you need to come to this understanding right now is that I can't want the girl to bring my nervousness down. I can't want that. Because even if she feels that I'm nervous and she tries to, she many of the time just don't know what she's doing. She don't. And you need to be aware of that now. I walk up to women nervous, but many of the times they won't know what to do. So I can't plant my nervousness in the moment and try to have her resolve it for me because she won't know how to do it. She won't. Many other times she won't. And there's a certain feeling that I would say that come across the woman when she's in front of a guy that I want you to also be aware of. When you are nervous in front of her, she can't feel that you want her. This is so key. She can't feel that you want her because you are strongly reacting to the nervousness. That means it's blocking your desire. She doesn't know that you actually, she doesn't know that you want her. She, do, she does not know that. All she can feel is that you are in this moment and you are not comfortable. You're not relaxed. That's what she's going through. Women want to feel that you want them when you're in front of them. They do. They want to feel that this guy, he likes me. He's showing me that. Ah, oh, that feels good. When you go up and you're incredibly, incredibly just like... That's all away from your desire. She doesn't even know you like her. If I ask that girl, 
that you walked up to or any girl that just had a man come up to her nervously, do you know that that guy actually really wanted to talk to you and get to know you and possibly go on a date with you? She'll be like, mm, no. I mean, he just seemed, seemed a bit nervous. That's, or he seemed like he wasn't comfortable or he wasn't confident. That's how she'll be receiving it. She's processing it, processing it like that. She's not looking past those things because all she's feeling in that moment is, okay, there's something happening here or I'm getting out. That's all she's feeling. She's not feeling, okay, this guy really wants me, but he's nervous. That's all I see. She's not, she's not going through that at all. This is why it's important for you to understand that she's not receiving your desire in that moment. She's not. Guys in some way think that when they walk up to a woman that she's receiving their desire. She's not. I'm talking about when you're nervous. She simply isn't, simply because there's a block on top of it. It's like me wanting to tell you right now about this, but everything that I'm saying is nothing to do with this. You would go, what the fuck? Why is it called this? What is, why is this thumbnail like this? It doesn't even talk anything about that. That's the same way as she's receiving it. He's here, but I don't know why. Why is he here? Oh, okay, I guess he likes me. Oh, I, uh, she doesn't, uh, okay, he says I'm pretty, but that's what's going on. Look at the truth of things. Really. If you want the women you walk up to to receive you differently, then you must be doing, you must try something different. You must. If you are a very nervous guy, you find yourself being very nervous when you're around women or when you go talk to women or when it comes to go approaching women, if you feel very nervous doing this, I want to help you understand this beautiful point that I'm going to make. You must stand in the midst of what you're feeling if you want to become comfortable under nervousness. Stand still when you feel nervous. Sit still when you feel nervous. Walk and feel yourself being nervous, but don't do anything about it. Being with the nervousness as it happens is the way that you learn to deal with nervousness. There's not a mindset, there's not a belief that's going to help you with nervousness. The only thing that's going to really allow you to be able to get over this, be able to not allow it to have power over you, is by standing in the midst of nervousness as it's there. Not doing anything about it, just standing in the midst of it. Standing still, walking and being in it, sitting still. When you're there in front of the girl and you feel like, man, I am so nervous right now. Don't give it that power. Don't even say I'm so nervous right now. You don't need to do that. Bringing attention to it, of course, can dilute it, but to even make it better for you, don't put all of your awareness into it as far as this means something about me. Don't extract meaning from it. That's what I mean. Be aware of it, but don't extract meaning from it about you. This is what happens when a guy is in front of a woman. He extracts meaning from the nervousness. I go speak to her. And I'm nervous. This means that I'm not good with women. This means that women don't want me. This means that I'm not worthy of her. He extracts the meaning from the sensation. And that sensational extraction of meaning means that every single time it comes up, it reinforces that you are not whatever you have told yourself. That you are whatever you have told yourself. I'm sorry. Forget about that. You walk up to the woman, you say hello, and you feel nervous, don't do anything about it. Just stand in the midst of the nervousness. That's just like if I'm standing here in front of you, and a lot of people just crowded around me and was like, what are you talking about? Women aren't like that. Be nicer. What if, imagine if they just start doing that and I start feeling nervous right now, 
and I just went, yeah, but, uh, and I was like talking here and going about, and I just started getting really nervous like this. You'd be like, holy shit, Tony, <laughs> calm down, my man. But imagine if I was feeling all that. I felt nervousness in my body somewhere. I felt me feeling tension somewhere, me feeling like there's sensational discomfort. And I just stood here and I kept talking like this. That brings me to when I was at my conference, uh, at the conference, uh, my last conference with TNL in, in Budapest. And I was on stage. When I first walked out there, I was incredibly fucking nervous. Incredibly nervous. It was so much going on the inside. So much. But it looked like I was incredibly at peace. Because I understand that it's there, but I don't need to give it power. I don't have to extract meaning from it. I don't have to go, okay, this means that I'm not comfortable with this audience. This means that I should do this more. This means that I should have prepared more. No, I wasn't doing any of that. I was just in it and continuing. You can operate very normally under nervousness. You really can. You just must teach yourself to not give weight, not give power to, not give all your attention to the nervousness about and what it means about you. That's really the way out of it. When you're standing in front of a girl and you feel anything happening inside of you, just stand still. Don't move because your body will want to do things. It'll want to do this. It'll want to maybe look around. It'll want to, you know, have you keep talking. So many different things it'll want to do. Just stand still in the midst of it. If you're sitting down talking to a woman, sit still. Don't move. Just feel the nervousness and notice that it's not me. When you move, you start to feel that the nervousness is, is controlling you. You start to feel like the nervousness is me. And the girl's reacting to the nervousness. And that's when she goes, I'm out. This is the way. I'm going to leave you off with that for now. Whew. It's really cold. It really is. I'm here in Madison, Wisconsin, my, basically my hometown. And it's so cold. But I had to come record this video because I know that there's a lot of you still doing it right now in the winter. Maybe there's some of you in Australia right now who are doing it. But continue on with it. And allow yourself to not let nervousness take over you. Just stand in the midst of it. Sit in the midst of it. Walk in the midst of it without doing anything about it. This is the way through. If you didn't know, I'm coming to Toronto next week. Next weekend, next Saturday evening, I have a seminar in Toronto. If you are in Canada or even in New York City and you haven't came to my New York City one, come to this seminar. This is my only time I'll be around for this year. I don't come back until next fall. So this is a time for you. If you feel like you're struggling with things, if you feel like you're struggling with who you are, um, why do I do this? I go for these women, but then they don't want me. If you're struggling with anything in relation to you and women, this is for you. So, I'm going to give that out right now. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe because you can get to follow me. Share this with anybody who you feel that needs this. Please, please, please. I'm just going to power through this because I'm really cold now. I have a free seduction course for you. That's everything from meat to bedroom. That's teaching you all of the, what do you do to the approach? What do you, you know? How, what do you go in and say? Like, how do you say it? Um, I'll give you all that all the way to what do you do when she gets to the doorstep. That's that. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I see you in the next video from your boy, Tony Solo.